in Occupy Oakland, uh, 400 arrested after clashes uh, during the weekend. Well, uh, they did break into City Hall, Occupy Oakland did, some people within that movement. Uh, there was apparently uh, rock and bottle throwing by protesters, and there was, of course, volleys of tear gas from the police. Which came first is a great question. It's very hard to tell. Uh, there was some smashed glass at City Hall, uh, graffiti spray painted on some of the walls, and an American flag burn which that is clear because we, we, we saw that happen and that's such terrible messaging. I mean, first of all, I don't agree with it at all. I don't think that, you know, we want to, I think, make America better. We don't want to burn it down. I, it's a terrible idea to do that. And then even if you believe that you, it's terrible messaging and framing, God, I, I couldn't disagree with that more. It's such a dumb idea. And then, uh, you know, as to who started it, I don't know. I'm going to give you quotes from both sides. Mayor Jean Kwan is pissed. Now, she had gotten in trouble before for how the cops had handled earlier incidents, which were appeared to be far clearer to be the cops' fault. Uh, they came in very aggressive with tear gas and rubber bullets, et cetera, earlier. And she said at the time, oh, I, I didn't know that they were going to do that. This she said she did know and did authorize. She says that she wants... Uh, the Occupy movement to stop using Oakland as its playground. She claims a lot of people are coming out from outside Oakland to do this. Uh, she said, quote, people in the community and people in the Occupy movement have to stop making excuses for this behavior. Now, uh, Deputy Police Chief uh, Jeff Israel also added, these people gathered with the intent of unlawfully entering into a building that does not belong to them and assaulting the police. It was not a peaceful group. Now, even if those people are correct, uh, as both sides acknowledge, this was a small group of people compared to the thousands that were there to protest. So keep that in mind whichever way you come out on this. But organizers, of course, say something else. Michael Davis is 32, and he was actually originally part of the Occupy movement in Cincinnati. And he says, quote, what could have been handled differently is the way the Oakland police came at us. We were peaceful. He said then the police began to use flashbangs, tear gas, smoke grenades, and beanbags. Who do you believe? It's so hard to know if you're not on the ground, right? So uh, as I read these news stories, it's hard to tell. Yes, there is graffiti, which even if the police came at you, what's the point of graffiti? Like, how does that get back at the police? So I don't agree with that part. I certainly don't agree with the flag burning. Uh, and, you know, the rest, who started it? Did they have to go into City Hall? Look, let me throw it at you guys. Uh, in the comment section uh, on YouTube, tell us what, what you think uh, this is. I mean, who started it? Whose fault was it? Maybe some of you were there and you uh, can have some you know, eyewitness testimony to that effect. And then uh, I, the other question I want to ask you guys is, you know, is this going in the right direction or the wrong direction? Because it actually gathers a lot of attention, right? Uh, and now everybody's talking about Occupy again, and one of the organizers was bragging about that. But on the other hand, the attention is not so great. I hate the pictures of the flag burning on, on American TV because it e makes it easier to alienate the Occupy movement from the uh, mainstream and have uh, you know politicians come on there go, oh, look at these Occupy guys. There's radicals and anarchists, etc. And honestly, I was in Oakland, not this time around, but earlier when they shut down the first port. And I saw both sides. I saw tens of thousands of people marching on that day. And it was all incredibly peaceful, and the overall protest was terrific. And I actually agreed with shutting down the port to make an, uh, a statement on that day. On the other hand, I saw some wild-eyed dudes. And I remember I reported from on the ground there saying, Oakland isn't like the other places I've seen in the Occupy movement. And they can cause trouble here. Not the majority, but there is a group there that uh, this, you know, is a little bit more anarchist. And I'm not in the anarchist camp. So it's interesting. Tell me where you uh, stand on this and where you come out on Occupy Oakland.